Hi everyone, my name is Alexa Kukiata and I'm a senior at the Gabelli School of Business. I am studying business administration and marketing and I'm also the author of Power to Persevere and today I'm going to be encouraging you with a little excerpt from my book on how we can just really try to get through this challenging moment that we're all experiencing in quarantine. Let's use this time as a way to persevere. Let's use this time as a way to change our perspective on life and know that this is happening for us, for us to learn, for us to grow, and for us to hone in on ourselves. All right, so here we go. Within us, all of us, is the ability to shift the lens through which we interpret and experience our world. Regardless of individual circumstances, it is possible to strive for peace and serenity. We must come to terms with our circumstances and accept that the unexplainable and unfathomable battles we face are a constant test of our faith. In order to truly confront what we cannot control, we also must trust. Trust that the quality of the life we experience and our ongoing legacy is far more powerful than our pain. We have to come to terms with ourself and recognize that we can overcome any situation. And whenever we are feeling lost, we must remember that we have the ability to conquer the situation because we are our own rulers and control our response to what life throws at us, even if we don't have any plan or preparation for it. And I wanna go a little more further and end with this paragraph. As impossible as it might sound, try reframing your circumstances, even if it seems too much to bear. Rather than lamenting on your misfortune, attempt to acknowledge the winds. Kindness from courageous souls around you and hidden beauty around the small moments. We must keep our heads high, stay positive, move forward, and roll with the punches. Trust the battle, trust the struggle, trust yourself, trust it, and know that you can create your own strength and you have the power to persevere. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Bye.